you guys about the lion's mane the mushroom supplements i know that i showed you guys the kind i had got from dollar tree that i was just trying out well this is the actual supplements with the 10 different um mushrooms in one that i will be taking myself but i'm going to also be giving it to my daughter golden renee um as you guys know she's currently on the spectrum we really don't know what um level she is on it so we're gonna just do our best to just keep you know helping her to uh keep progressing and keep being able to move forward so um and this also just need to help me out because i'm gonna let you guys know working and doing everything else that i do i always need help with my brain health and my memory just to just be able to keep knowledge you know so that one just tap into you guys Grand Rising. Hey, everybody. So, I'm about to, I'm up. It's 8.30. It's Saturday. So, I'm off. Great news about that. Um, but I still, morning job is not never done. Um, I'm currently up making some breakfast for myself. Um, and then I'll make the girls something as they get up. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the diet that I'm starting. Well, it's not really a diet. It's, it's, a, it's a management of what you're eating. Um, to let you have a, it's a protein diet and a calorie counting diet, but you, it's a meal plan. So I'm going to show you guys what I started. The thing about it is, it's also, everybody needs one carb. She advised us to get, um, a bread with at least 100 calories, and we can do two, um, pieces of bread. So I'm turning my oven on, and I'm about to put my bread in the oven so it can get toasted for me. I'm gonna chat it up with you guys. If that's, if that's okay with y'all, I wanna chat it up with you. Um, I have to go out today. The girls have a birthday party at three. Before three, I wanna go ahead and go get their sneakers, um, their tennis shoes for school because they start school on the 8th of August. So, yes, they're going back to school. The only person that has not started school yet is Golden, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. My husband's gonna make a roast for Sunday dinner. So he's gonna put it inside the crock pot in the morning. Okay, so you you use any type of spraying oil. Um, the reason why I chose the extra virgin olive oil because I don't like avocados. I really think those, right now, I used to like them. I used to love a good guac. I used to love me a good um, avocado on top of my taco. Um, but lately, I feel like they taste rubbery. I just don't want anything to do with them. So she said we can use a teaspoon of olive oil in replacement of that. So I've just been cooking with my olive oil. So eventually, I'll get my intake of olive oil. She's recommending us to get to cor um, to work with the avocados. But you get avocados in your morning. So I use a measuring cup for my liquid egg white. On this, I'm doing the detox right now, so you do a half a cup of egg whites in the morning. Just a half a cup. That's how it looks. The reason why I'm not cooking the girls anything yet because they don't really care about me cooking any eggs or anything for them. I noticed that they're probably tired of it tired of eating eggs and baking in the morning. They just like to grab their egg or waffles. They have their cereal, their milk. They have everything that they like to have. So I don't want to waste food because I've been wasting food, y'all. I cook when I get up in the morning for myself. I don't make them eat the, the egg whites and all that stuff, but I'll scramble them up an egg or fry them an egg, boil them an egg, cook their turkey bacon and turkey sausages or whatever. Um, put them some egg in the oven. 
So that's what I'm going to do for them is put them. Well, I'm not going to do it now because they're still sleeping. I don't want their egos to just be sitting there. But usually I do all that and they'll come in here and barely eat the stuff. I'm like, you guys not hungry? <laughs> if you can season your, um, your stuff the same way you always season it, just don't overdo it. Um, I use salt and pepper. Let me get this pepper open. I use salt and pepper and on my eggs, egg whites. Um, I don't do too much extra stuff. Like, it's just eggs. It's just eggs. We don't have to do too much of Um, A lot of people like to over overthink themselves, and I notice that about people. I'm not going to do that to my brain. Okay. And we also do one egg. So I do the half a cup of egg whites and one egg. And then I'll get that on the plate. Up, um, not too much like diced up onions or bell peppers inside your eggs. But instead of doing that, I've just been doing like, a small amount of spinach to go inside my egg. No, I'm sorry. I'm not a lot of people are like, this sounds so good. This is a lot to do. It's not that serious, you know? Not that serious. No. <laughs> Just enjoy your and learn how to this whole thing is to teach people how to be able to have a balance have a balanced diet because we all need carbs in our diet. We do need carbs in our diet. We do need protein in our diet. Even to even have vegan options. Just vegetarian options. So it's no excuse for you not to be able to balance it, you know? Um, so you can do, if everybody needs carbs, everybody needs, um, need a vegetable, of course, and plenty of water. That's not a problem for me. I drink water. I love water. That's my go-to. Anyway, you know, I want to drink water before I do anything else. So, water has never been my issue. Um, so I have no problem with taking the intake of water. We do three fourths a gallon of water, which is three bottles of, I mean, six bottles of water a day. Six bottles of water a day. Um, I will tell you, I, since I noticed that I have been eating this way, and I've been doing this for the past two days, um, I have been having to go to the restroom. So even though, even though I think I drank a lot of water, maybe I haven't been drinking, drinking as much water as I thought I was drinking because baby, I'm like, I'm gonna have to go to this bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom a lot. Um, but that's cool. This is so I'm putting all this up. No, the spray should stay right here. Um, but I'm putting this up. This is it. I'm gonna show you guys my plate. But they got to start. My kids got to start getting me, but uh, we know school is like next week. <laughs> but they're so they're so used to um, getting their rest in. I don't even bother them. I'm like, just know when it's time to get up. They got to get on that bus at six in the morning. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. Even though my husband is making a roast for the family on Sunday, um, I'm gonna show you guys. A pit, it's going to be like picture clips that comes up. My meal prep. I already meal prepped. Um, I started this on August the 1st. So I already basically meal prepped. So I just. Um, so I just will be eating my. Um, we can eat any protein. But I just don't want to do beef. I just want to go. Because I eat beef. It's good for me. But I just don't want to do beef right now. I want to go ahead and just balance my body back right. And then maybe when I get, you know, done with the, cause it's a 90 day, six weeks, six weeks, um, six weeks plan. Once I'm done with that, then I can um, start doing my um, regular diet, but doing it, still doing, watching what I'm taking in basically. And um, keeping that weight off of me. But my husband, he's gonna be doing a roast and I'm gonna be eating my already baked chicken. I baked um, chicken. Should last me hopefully for this whole weekend. For the rest of this weekend. 
That's my goal. I'm gonna go last for the rest of this weekend. So I like to eat the yolk, so I uh, took my egg out and the yolk was all on the stove. But um, but yeah, so the meal prep is you eat four ounces of a protein um, five times a day. Um, you have to eat like I'm not a morning person. I use I'm a morning person, but I'm not, I usually don't get up early to eat. I'm gonna get up to like work or work on my altar, talk to my ancestors, meditate. I'll even get up and work out, but I never like to get up and really eat because I really don't. I used to be hungry like that when I was little. Now that I think about it, it's probably when I was smaller when I was younger. I would get up in the morning and immediately eat my breakfast. Um, I had to eat breakfast in, in the morning time. This was before I had kids and everything. I didn't feel, I felt icky if I didn't eat anything. But um, yeah, so let's talk. I'm gonna eat my food. Yes, I eat my food standing up in the kitchen. I am a mom. I do this, y'all. I can sit down and eat. Yes, eat. I have a table right there, but I just don't know. I I sit here and eat my food real quick because um, I'm about to. I already my um work my altars and talk to my ancestors and did my my cleansing. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about was. show you guys the plate Oops, okay I see it so this is my spinach those are the egg whites and this is the toast so I'm gonna chat it up with you guys for a moment then I have to go work out after I'm done eating I'm gonna let it set, set for a while then I'm gonna go to walk I'd rather do a we can walk for 30 minutes that's your choice or any 30 minute cardio so you guys already know I do my Zumba my um aerobics or I do my um, dance, work, whatever. Um, sometimes I walk, like I said, I can walk around my neighborhood. But I didn't get up in time because the sun is beaming. So I know I'll be burning up, that's fine. I'll still, I can still, we don't, we're not gonna worry about that because just know I've been working out and I'm used to it. So I just gotta keep going. But, um, so let's talk. As you guys know, the Lion Gates portal is coming, right? You guys know and if you don't know the lion gate portal is coming right it's on the a but we also have a leo new moon coming on the fourth which is tomorrow um if you haven't already you have time you know you guys have two day gap before and after to start doing your work on your um manifestations and just to prepare yourself i'm gonna be honest with you i don't have to get ready. I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. So, I already did all my cleansing, wash my floors, and mop my floor again because that's just something I do. Because, of course, I had children running around, so I had to mop my floors. Um, wipe your doors down, wipe your walls down. Um, get you some cleansing sprays, some colognes, things like that. If you don't have a botanica in your, in your home, I mean, your hometown or wherever you're from, you can go on Amazon. I love this Florida water for some reason. I just don't want to go back to the old. But Florida water, any type of Florida water is fine. Cleanse your area, cleanse your space. With that, you can also use some herbs that you can buy. Um, I love basil. It's good for children. Boil up some basils. You get that at the grocery store. Make it a spray bottle. Spray it over your home, spray it over your doors, wipe your children. Um, headboard, bathroom, whatever, pour it down in the sink. But they take their baths at. Just cleanse their energy. And then when you do that, um, You can still do your normal manifestation work. So, 
You guys already know there's a lot of planets going to retrograde. Mercury retrograde. Neptune, Saturn, all over. These planets are just rotating, rotating backwards. So to keep, make sure that you're handling your energy here, because at the end of the day, these planets are still a part of you. So to make sure you maintain yourself, go ahead and start doing your work. After you do your manifestation work, I recommend you to first and foremost do protection work, okay? Because Mercury and retrograde will send stuff your way. Exes that you didn't talk to for years. Side note. <clears throat> Your dreams will be very vivid. You will have something to try to connect to you. May have been somebody in your past life. I don't know. I'm just telling what's going on with me. I had somebody come in my dream last night. Very romantic, doing all type of things. I'm talking about, um, I remember you saved me from a dog. And I was like, no, I don't remember you saved me from a dog. Because they will tell you something about me. You guys, I'm very connected. I, I'm not just doing this shit for sure. So the, they're going to always send things to attack me. Nigga, I don't know you. That's how I talk. I'm being honest. I don't know you. That's cool. I'm nice. I said, that's cool. Okay. I don't recall. So he kind of tried to put in my mind or show me where he supposedly saved me by the dog. It was like in an old video. I was in a video. Y'all, my whole reason for saying this is you have energy vampires. You need to protect yourself from that. You need to protect yourself from haters sending things your way. Stuff just coming your way. Things are trying to attach themselves to you because you're working. Once you start working on your working on yourself, that automatically makes the masses upset. So you're going to constantly have shit thrown your way. Things being thrown your way. If you're married, things will start attacking your marriage when nothing was wrong. You and your husband was just fine. Um, or wife was just fine. Things will start making your children act like they lost their dog on mine. Oh no. That's when, that's when you got to do that cleanse. That's when you got to put that shield over your home. At first, I didn't want to share that with you guys. As far as how I shield my home, I can share pieces of it to you. I don't mind. Because I'm th I'm fine. I'm highly protected. And sometimes when I try to send something my way, stuff happens since I'm worse than him. That's why I try to tell people just, if you don't like me, that's fine. If you don't um, truly care about me, that's fine. But don't fuck with me. Okay? Okay. Just go your way, and I'll go mine. Okay. Back to what I was talking about. Excuse me, I don't want to have a food out of my mouth while I was talking. I'll tell you guys what to use. Okay. I already told you about the basil. You can boil it up on your stove. Just let it stipe. And then put it inside of a spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can have a spray bottle. Dollar Tree has them. If you don't have a way to get the Dollar Tree, all you got is the basil. That's fine. Just boil it up and strain it as best as you can. Put it on a towel, a clean towel, and wipe everything down with it. I also use another herb that I personally just learned about from, not learned about, but just started using. Um, Roe. Is it Rue? It's spelled R-U-E. I think that's rude. I love that. I put it in a spray bottle. I spray it on myself, my children. And you're going to spray from your crown down to your feet to cleanse your energy, to cleanse your children's energy, to cleanse your moving stuff. Just put it to you like that. And I'm going to tell you about one more herb that I love. And you, you're not going to find this herb in the grocery store. You either can try to find it on a, on a herbal store or... You can even find it on Amazon. Just make sure you look at how it looks. Make sure it's the real deal. I love his sock. I love his sock. 
excuse me oh my gosh i love his sock you guys i make that into a spray i boil it and i put it in my spiritual baths i love his sock that is the best purifying herb i have used since i've been using herb i love it i love it i love it if i'm having a bad week and i just feel like i just need to re release i go in there and i read psalms 23 and psalms 51 in my bath water you know and i put it in my water and i just release stress it, you become feeling you become you become you feel so much better because all that weight i literally felt weight coming off my shoulder when i took a spiritual bath with his up do you hear me i put I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you ladies know about something else i put my husband in his side bells because my husband's open to my spirituality and you have to find a, a mate that's open to it he comes to me sometimes and asks me he, he tells me babe i'm feeling away i'm feeling i'm feeling down i don't know what's going on with me i want to make that man bath water i light him a candle put, spray some put some incense around in there and i put that hiss up and then i pray over that water and he wakes up the next morning refreshed to go to work that provide for me and these kids so that's it's really nothing to do to make a bath it's really easy um and then you just continue sometimes it becomes draining to help it's as a healer sometimes it becomes draining but i just wanted to share that with you guys that is some things that i do if you would like to know to buy some of my oils i make oils butters hair stuff all that you go on my website name of my website is majestic renee it's on shopify um and you can buy a lot of my stuff there just being real but i just wanted to let you guys in on a little something that been working wonders in my life um and i just wanted to help you guys learn how to work make and make and make wonders in your life because we all have free will we all don't have to be walking through life struggling and stressing and having attacks done to us for just being who we are now if you've done some stuff now that you know that you have done to people in a, in a wrong way and you you are getting back karma karma is going to run its course but it's okay you can still cleanse yourself you can still cleanse your energy so it can remove itself and go through what it's going to go through and then you can bring in better and then you learned your lesson also just know that um you're fine it is well you're gonna go through some things but it's all right so i want to show you guys one more thing um i'm gonna cut off the camera now because i'm done talking about that that's all i want to do is tell you guys get ready oh i'm sorry i forgot i'm sorry you guys playing with the play my mind i'm sorry i told you guys about the protection i also want to tell you what you can do to manifest um if you're trying to, if you're like me, I'm working on my glamour, working on my, you know, my beauty, my makeup, my, my workout, my body, because I want to get back to being the sexy goddess that I am, period. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, because I want to focus on the second sexy goddess that I am. I want to stay tapped, and this is the time to do that, y'all. This is the Leo new moon. You know, Leos is like they ain't even got to be that to other people, but they that to them. You hear me? So you tap into that energy. Get yourself some love work, some self love work. Get your pink candle. You even gotta go to a botanical. You need to go on my site and buy no oils. Get you a pink candle. Get some some olive oil, whatever type of oil you want. I recommend olive oil. I use grape seed oil because that's something I recommend people to use on their skin and everything. Because I sell that. But use some oil. Dip that pink candle. Clean it. Cleanse it first. Dip that pink candle. Inside that oil, put some lavender on there, 
some roses. Put just some um, hibiscus flower on there. And put just some honey on there. Yeah. And then put yourself some sugar, because I'm old school. Sugar. And speak into those can and those herbs and speak into that candle. What you want to manifest for yourself as far as your own glamour, your own beauty, your own self love. Speak that stuff in that candle. You hear me? And then light it. And as you light it, still speak it. You can write a petition. Write a petition on it as well, under it. Or on the candle. If you have a glass candle, you can use your sharpening right on there. Or just speaking what you want to bring. If you feel like I lost my I lost my beauty, I'm not feeling sexy. I'm not. We all go through that. We are human. We're in this body vessel. We still, we still in this vessel. We gotta take care of it though. I don't have enough energy. I don't feel like working out. Speak that into that candle. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna feel more confident. I wanna go into the gym. I'm gonna I'm gonna just if I don't go into the gym, I'm just gonna do some workout at home. I'm gonna walk, go walking in nature, whatever you want to manifest for your self-love. I'm going to be getting in skincare. I haven't been doing nothing with my skin. I've been washing my skin with some hand soap and water. I don't even moisturize. Speak out it to yourself. Don't talk about what you're not doing, but speak what you want to start doing. And light that candle. I want to also remind you guys, if you're new here, no matter what you do, every time you do, any type of work with a candle, make sure you do a protection spell right along with it. That can be a black candle or a white candle. Just add it together with that so it can protect what you're doing, okay? So, with that being said, that's all I want to say as far as with, oh yeah, the Leo New Moon as far as manifesting, you know, glamour and beauty and being more confident. That is a must. Then also know that you can also work on your bag. You hear me? Work on that money. Um, we don't need. We're about to be at a stage where we don't need money, but you want to make sure you have access to everything that you do need. Put that on that candle. I want to tell you guys what I recommend you to put on your money candle. Okay, y'all listening? Get y'all a pen. Call the video for the money candle. I'm telling y'all, been working wonders in my life. Money is always manifesting to me in different forms. I don't really worry about nothing. Okay? Get your green candle. I'm going to show it to y'all. These stuff I got cleaned back here already. I'm going to show y'all some stuff. This is my pink candle. I already cleansed everything. Dollar Tree. Listen, go to Dollar Tree and get your candles, y'all. Stop stressing. Stressing out. Get your candles. This is a pink candle already cleansed. Ready for me to work. This is a green candle. Already cleansed and ready for me to work. Now, this is what I was saying. Get you a green candle from Dollar Tree. I recommend the seven-day candles because you want to burn this. We have today is the third. You have the new moon tomorrow. The Lion Gate. The Lion Gates um, comes around on the on the eighth, so you'll already have your stuff working. You know, some people I do fast. Now, when I do fast work, I do. The use of all my stick candles. I, have, I was supposed to be going to the store today. I just remember that. I wanted to show it to you guys. But a stick candle. When I'm trying to get work fast, I use a stick candle. If you, if you look at my, if you look up and down for my shorts, I show you guys, um, is this off? Yes, it's off. I use a stick candle. I dip it in the oils and I, um, put the herbs on there. I write a petition. I'm, I'm a petition mama. And mind you, use brown paper. And who do we use brown paper? You can use notebook paper though. Don't stress this now. If you can't find no brown paper, that's, that's okay. You know, but you know you got notebook paper or something. Just use what you have on hand. I don't want you guys to stress. For me personally, I shop at Aldi's. I shop at Publix. I shop at places that I can get brown paper bags. You get brown paper bags from the liquor store when you go get you some liquor, when you're buying some wine for the ancestors, and when you're buying yourself something to drink because you had a rough day. So it's fine. Just get you some brown 
paper bags, whatever, if you can. If not, you can use regular paper. It's no big deal. Just write your petitions. I love petitions. They're gonna get the they're gonna get the message out to your spirit team every time. Um, write that petition out. So you got the green candle, you got the brown paper, any kind of paper is fine. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. But I'd rather you try to find some brown paper, okay? You get it at the gas station. Sometimes they got, you know, for the beers, loose beers people drink. You can try to get it out of there too. <laughs> But get you some real money. I know y'all like, man, real money. It don't have to be a big bill, y'all. Just get like a $1 bill. And get that money and dress that money with alfalfa. Um, cinnamon nutmeg eucalyptus and um let me think of another herb that i have been using oh clove and you dress that you dress that money with that right or i'm gonna let you guys know something else i do you don't have to necessarily dress the money with it you can just you can just cut the money up into little strands like shred it Crumble all of those herbs I just told you about and put it in that money together and make yourself a money mix, a wealth mix. And <clears throat> put it on this candle. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the candle. You see how it looks in here? You're gonna write your name, your date of birth around the outside of this candle right here. I'm not working right now on money but because i don't want to mess over this candle because i'm working this one my candles i'm gonna be working on but i want you to you know how you take you can take a pen that you're not using say for instance this is one of my working pens and you write your name if you have a long name you can just do your initials you just do like let me put myself in it as a um example a c u and then my date of birth and then i also do sigils if you don't know how to do sigils if you don't know how to do sigils that's cool that's fine that is it is well you don't have to do sigils but they're just a lot easier to get out um to the universe and to god and to everybody you know that's helping your spirit team but if you don't do sigils that's fine just find a way to get what you're trying to manifest if you just want to write money in the amount on your on your um candle that's fine and put the money signs do it in three because you have to do complete numbers six or nine you know um and you put that put that uh petition under that candle and light it up straight like that straight like that so let's start let's go back i told you guys to get money a dollar bill is fine alfalfa leaf eucalyptus clove nutmeg and cinnamon those are five great herbs to manifest that bread to manifest that money to break it to you it's gonna come on you're gonna be here to catch up when i all right and um after you're done with your petitions this is what i recommend you do some people don't you can bury it you can you can put it in water. You can do whatever. Some people put it in their mojo bags after they're done with the, with the burning on top of it. It's what your desire is. But if you don't know anything about mojo bags, then you can just burn it. Set it on fire. Let it burn up. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo. -de -boop. Take the candles. Remember, these are your, these are essence of you. Any self-love kind of candle, if you candle, if you're not using a stick, you take those um, bottles when it's done burning um and you put them put flowers in them like i have altars around here so i put flowers on them i also have my own self-love candles um self-love altar so i put flowers in that you don't want to throw away your shack um and then just let it sit there until the count so the flowers get old and then you can throw it out then you know but just don't just throw away your stuff as soon as you're done with it because you remember that this is spirit. You want spirit to understand what's going on. They're going to be like, what? Just throwing them in the trash? What? What you want me to do? 
So you want them to understand that you want to, this is your ashe. This is what you want them to focus on for you. Um, and then what's next? I want to make sure you guys know after this, because I don't want to give you guys stuff to do and you're not, you're, um, and you go and do this stuff and you're like, what the heck? I'm stuck. So, um, and then once you do all of that, like I said as well, just make sure that you first and foremost, before you do anything, cleanse your space. If you share a space where with your parents, if you live in your parents' home, if you share a space with a roommate, just clean your space, clean your, clean your room. Um, and just make sure you have the space clean where you are. <clears throat> And make sure that you're removing energies and entities away from around you that you do not want around you in your area, in your space. Before you start trying to put more work on yourself. Because if you're clean, you don't want to go in a dirty house, right? So expect that same way when it comes to your spirit team. Even though your spirit team is with you all the time, when you first came here, your spirit guides was with you. But I was talking about manifesting with your ancestors, making sure they're helping you. You know, and you're working with them. And then after you um, do these work, just offer their, offer some stuff to your ancestors after this. That's what my whole point was after this. Offer coffee. They love coffee. Rum. Any type of wine. Um, if you know if you know a specific person that you love that you know is on the other side that's helping you, get something that they like. If they like sweet tea, put it on the altar. And you don't have to have the altar does not have to be that extravagant. Like I said, if you have a space in your room. You get a white cloth, water, a small little tea candle, and light it up and offer that water and that light tea candle for that wax to give them light and thank them for what they're doing for you. And as soon as you do that, you guys, everything will start manifesting. It would just it would just become an immediately breakthrough for your life. Um, I want to let everybody know hoodoo is not a religion. Hoodoo is who we are. We are hoodoo. It's us. That's how our loved ones made it through slavery. That's how our loved ones made it through life. If you don't know, a lot of us lose sight of it and forget because that's what the goal is. But we still remember because our grandparents still can remember, hey, clean this house on the first Sunday. Make sure the first Saturday. Make sure this house is in order. They're going to cook a big meal every Sunday. They're going to make sure that they burn a candle or put pictures up of their loved ones throughout the house. Those are shrines. People don't know that, but that is what those are. Um, but you don't have to always tell your family members that are not, don't know what they're doing and just and don't understand hoodoo. Listen, if you're trying to be into hoodoo to heal yourself and heal your lineages and heal your finances, finance, heal your love life, heal you, that's fine. You don't have to share it with the world. Me personally, I feel like I have to share it with the world because it's my purpose and my calling. You can do this pri privately. It's usually how it was done. But now we can do this in the open. We don't open up a lot of portals. <laughs> we don't open up a lot of stuff. We don't we don't brought Mama Earth is woke. Because we have been doing what we have been doing. So with that being said, do not be ashamed of being who you are. Love is the highest frequency to be on. Stay in that frequency at all times. Even if you do drift away from it sometimes, shake it off. That's what I'm telling you guys about this cleansing. Make love and have love and give love and receive it. All right, you guys, I'm going to finish my meal. I'm going to come back later. Peace. Up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so I'm It seemed like I get so much, I don't get nothing back. I really thought it was love, but just so fucking wax. Always get caught up in love, but now you know with that. I can't get so now. Hey y'all, what's up? So I made my family I was about to eat today. We're gonna have our Sunday feast on a Saturday, which is cool for me because we're gonna be able to eat and be merry because everybody's off today, so we can eat the Saturday and then Sunday. Anyway, 
I just want to tap in and let you guys know tonight is the Leo new moon. So make sure you get into that energy. You know, I hope you already cleansed your house really good. Get you guys some good water, put it in a jar, put it out there in the, in the, in the, in the moonlight. Because this is going to be some strong energy. Everything that you desire, you're going to speak it over yourself in that water. Um, get you some good herbs. You know, if you want to focus on self-love, get you some hyssop to cleanse yourself. Um, self-love, get you some hibiscus to bring in love. Get you some um, nutmeg, some cinnamon, some citrus fruit, like orange peels or something. So bring in that prosperity and wealth. Yeah, let's tap into it tonight, y'all. I'm excited for it. So after I leave for my family, I'm going to go home. I already did my cleansing over the home. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to brew up some herbs to um, make me a boil. I'm going to bring it through my home and bring that energy in. And um, put my water outside so I can make my moon water. And I'm also um, going to make sure I just manifest, you guys. Manifest. That's what it's for. The energy is strong enough. Just tap into it. Goodbye. Yeah. Flexing on my exes and my model. Hold up, hold up, watch me go up, leave me so stuck 